This video shows you how to enter lighting and equipment cooling load data in CHVAC. We can see that if we leave the lighting input at zero, then 1155 watts of lighting will be assigned to this room. That number is based on the lighting watts per square foot of 1.1 that we entered as the default for the project on the general project data window and the area of this room. Let's override the default lighting watts and select the actual fixtures that will be used. The lighting loads window lets us enter any number of individual lighting fixtures, along with several options for each one that help define its contribution to the cooling load. Click the drop down help button for the description column so we can select from some lighting fixtures included in the program. The typical lighting loads window includes several categories of fixtures that are from one of the ASHRAE Handbook of Fundamentals printings, as well as a few other fixtures. This window also lets you add your own list of user-defined fixtures that will be available for you to use in all your projects. Click the LED category, and now select the Daybright LED fixture, 12 of which will be in the current room. Click OK to copy the selected fixture back to the lighting loads window. Since there will be 12 of these fixtures in the current room, change the occurrences column to 12. The total amount of lighting watts has now been updated to reflect our quantity of 12 that we entered. Notice that there are not OK and Cancel buttons on the lighting loads window, but only a Close button. That's because every change we make on this window is automatically saved in the project. Click the Close button. We can see that if we leave the sensible equipment input at zero, there will be 1,050 watts of equipment load in the current room. That value is based on our 1 watt of equipment load per square foot that we entered on the general project data window and the area of this room. We do want to override the equipment load for the current room, so click the drop down help button for the sensible equipment input. The equipment cooling loads window lets us define any number of items of equipment that contribute to the cooling load for the current room. And each item includes several factors to precisely define its effect. Click the drop down help button for the item name column so that we can select from some lists of common equipment loads. The typical equipment cooling loads window lists several categories of heat producing equipment that come from one of the editions of the Azure Handbook of Fundamentals. Notice that this window also lets us define our own list of equipment cooling loads for use in all of our projects. Click the Computers and Monitors category. Select the 30-inch monitor from the list. Click OK to copy this item back to the Equipment Cooling Loads window. Let's change the occurrences of this monitor to 4. We can add as many items of equipment as we like, so let's add another item in row number 2. Select the Laser Printers and Copiers category. And now let's select this copy machine. Click OK to copy this equipment item back to the Equipment Cooling Loads window. The total amount of watts of equipment has been updated to include our new item. Click the Close button. Thanks for watching.